Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Goodwin's model of business cycle. R.M. Goodwin's presented non-linear model of business cycle in an article named Non-Linear Acceleration and Persistence of Business Cycle. And Goodwin model is extension of Hicks multiplier and accelerator model. And according to this model, growth in labor force and improvement in technology are crucial factor to determining economic growth. And fluctuation in economic growth occurs because of gap between K star and K. K star means desire capital stock and K means actual capital stock. Now we are going to talk about equation of this model. K star equal to nu y plus beta t. This is our first equation. K star means desire capital stock. Nu basically represent uh, accelerator or we can say that nu means capital output ratio. Y is output and beta t represent technological change or we can say that beta t represent technological advancement. According to this equation, how much capital we desire, it's all depend on capital need for output and capital need for technological improvement. Obviously, when we improve technology, we need capital. Second equation is I equal to lambda into K star minus K. Here I is the investment, K star is a desire capital stock, K is actual capital stock and lambda basically represent proportion of this gap. And according to this equation, how much we invest, it depends on a difference between desired capital stock and actual capital stock. When we put the value of a K star in our second equation, we will get this. I equal to lambda uh, nu y plus beta t minus k. As we know, output is function of investment. Here Y is output and F is function and I is investment. So in this equation, we will put value of Y and value of Y is function of investment. Then we get this equation I equal to lambda new function of investment means new function of I plus beta T minus K. Now we will divide both sides of this equation with the lambda and will bring K in this side because we need a value of k by doing this we will get our final equation k equal to nu function of i plus beta t minus i over lambda this equation means how much capital we need it depend on capital need for investment purpose and capital need for technological improvement and will minus i over lambda i over lambda means our previous investment our past investment According to Goodwin, gap between K star and K can create fluctuation in economic activity. Means gap between K star and K can cause of ups and downs in economy. K star means desire capital stock, K is actual capital stock and here IA is net investment. If desire capital stock is more than actual capital stock, uh, that means uh, we have more desire of capital but actual capital stock is less. That's why we will definitely increase our investment. So our net investment will go in positive. On the other hand, if desire capital stock is less than actual capital stock, that means we already have more capital. We don't need so much capital. Means our desire for capital will less. That's why we need to reduce some investment. So our net investment will go in negative. When K star is equal to K, then our net investment will be zero. But how gap between K star and K create ups and down in economy? When net investment increase, obviously employment will also increase, production increase, wages increase, consumer spending increase, producer profit increase. As a result, our economy will go in up. On the other hand, when net investment fall, that means production fall, employment fall, wages fall, consumer spending fall, ultimately profit of a producer will also fall, then our economy will go in down. So we can say the gap between K star and K create a fluctuation in economic activities. Now with the help of this diagram, we will talk about upswings and downswing in economy. In this diagram on x axis, we have time and y axis, we have K star and K. So 
here first of all we are going to talk about upswing in economy and here we assume technological advancement or we can say that here we assume beta t is not present because in case of technological advancement our trade cycles are different after this we will discuss trade cycle with technological advancement also but for now we will assume beta t is not present and k star is more than k if k star is more than k that means our net investment will positive our net investment will increase as investment increase production employment wages consumer spending and profit will also increase as a result our economy will go in up in this diagram you can see from c to b point k star is more than k that's why our economy is growing our economy is going up now we are going to talk about downswing in economy in case of downswing k star is less than k obviously well k star is less than k our net investment will reduce our net investment will fall as net investment reduce production employment wages consumer spending and profit will also reduce as a result our economy will go down you can see from b to t point uh, k star is less than k that's why our economy is going down rt is maximum limit economy cannot go down below this point because after t point we need some replacement investment means we need some investment for replacement of existing capital our desire for investment will increase as a result k star will more than k if k star is more than k means our net investment will increase as a result our economy will go up you can see from t to l point our economy is going up now we are going to talk about trade cycle with technological improvement or we can say the trade cycle with beta t with the technological improvement expansion period of trade cycle increase and contraction period of trade cycle fall according to goodwin technological improvement is very important because with technological improvement expansion period increase and contraction period fall in this diagram you can see a b is our expansion period and techno with the technological improvement our expansion period is increasing but b to c is our contraction period with technological improvement our contraction period is falling as you know expansion period is good for economy but the contraction period is no similar c to d is expansion period with technological improvement it is increasing and d to e is a contraction period and with technological improvement it is falling so this is all about goodwin's model of business cycle i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care